Real Chip TV, Chip Chatter Edition. I'm your host, Stephen Hellman, here with Tom Oresco, founder of Chip Cod Blog, and you know Chip Chatter. We answered the questions each week, but before we start that, fantasy update. A little fantasy news. Uh, our boy Jason Arkdeacon, the Glasgow Warriors, 6-0. and Going off. Perfect. He's perfect right Perfection. now on the season. Colin Zatelli's right behind him at 5-1, and one, um, having a great season as well, and uh, we took down the fake chip squad in the battle of the chip squads, the yeah, real chip squad. Real chip squad coming out um, on top. You know, and we got we got that done. Uh, we're four and two, uh, as well as the fake chip squad. So had to even those records out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks like you really are the fake chip squad because we got that W, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Highly competitive league, and the winner is getting a jersey. So yes. someone's getting a jersey. It's looking like Jason Ark Deacon from the UK, yeah, though. The front runner might be getting it. So that might that that overnight shipping that yeah. across the across the pond yeah, shipping. So yep. we get a little pricey from our pockets. So yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll so see. Someone catch up to him so we can ship to the US. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're a boy, Jason. We won't rig it. All right. Um, so, Instagram contest tomorrow. Yes. What time is that starting? I will be posting it. Should I do 3.30 or 5? I don't know. I like 3.30. 3.30. 3.30 <laughs> p.m. We had over 75 captions for our caption contest. This will be a nickname contest. We're going to post a picture mm -hmm. of a player that had a big game against the Giants. Mm -hmm. So, start brewing up. Jason uh, Jordan Hicks had... Um, Ten tackles. Nolan Carroll had a pick six. D'Amico Ryan set the tempo early in that yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, Riley Cooper had a couple <laughs> big plays. Even. So it could be any one of those guys. You got the Fletcher, you know, Fletcher Cox. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that played well. So keep it in mind, and we're going to surprise you with the picture, and you're going to make a nickname for that player and comment in the comments, and we're going to pick the best one. They're going to win a T-shirt. Um, and the last winner, Jay Wazi, will be getting – the t-shirt shipped out uh, to him maybe this weekend we can ship it out or did he get did he did he get back to you yeah he got back okay. to me sorry about that See, forgot to tell this guy. I'm the mail guy he, you know he yeah. answers them so I gotta get it to you so Jay was that's his fault so as soon as I get it I'm gonna get it to him <laughs> yes and uh, for that uh, for the nickname contest I'll give you a hint it's not Eli Manning it's not Eli Manning because <laughs> he got dominated and Dom Odell man. Beckham I'm still looking for you brother where you at <laughs> show up against Dallas this week. <laughs> yeah, hope, I hope so too. So let's dive right into the chip chatter questions. At JRG underscore DC5 asks, do you think Malcolm Jenkins deserves to be a Pro Bowl Pro Bowler this year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Not yeah. even a question. No yeah. question about it. Pro Second Bowl, maybe the, safety maybe the, the best, Yeah, maybe the best safety in, in the league right now. I mean, I know Harrison Smith's ranked higher uh -huh. on Pro Football Focus, but Malcolm Jenkins is just... He's just playing lights out. I was going to ask you who number one was. So thank you for answering my question as well. <laughs> okay. um, so next question. At OWC Deadpool asks, going up against a 5-0 Panthers, what will we have to do offensively to come out of this 4-3? and three? I think this is a pretty straightforward question. Uh, no turnovers. Uh, Sam yeah. Bradford struggling, um, keeping the ball, securing that ball. Jordan Matthews had an, uh, a fumble on Sunday night, or Monday night, I'm sorry. Um, Monday night football couple too many turnovers uh luckily yeah. our defense is taking the ball away but if our offense can just keep that ball safe and sound yeah. sam bradford i know i mean he hasn't played in a long time a lot of people are yeah. you know it's it's a, it's a you know it's a lot of it's a debate it's yeah. people saying you know the guy hasn't played a lot so he's still warming up and the other people are just saying no he's just not that good so we'll see time will yeah. tell what he is but you got to start turning it around, boss. I mean, no turnovers, yeah. uh, no no interceptions, and that's what we got to do. Yeah, I think game. I think just a clean game, really. That's what you're yeah. gonna, that's what you're going to do. The offensive line needs to yeah. block as well. Absolutely. Um, so at Savage Diaries asks, can Jordan Matthews find his mojo? I think he could use the word mojo. He had a, he had a huge game against Carolina last week uh, last year. Mm -hmm. Getting all my stuff mixed up. Yeah, right? you're all over Sunday, the place. Sunday. 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 Um, yeah, but he had a great game against Carolina last year. But they are playing at a very high level. Um, it's a tough defense. They have Luke Keekley and Thomas Davis, probably the best linebacker duo in the NFL, mm -hmm. um, other than maybe our boy Jordan Hicks and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, right. and D'Amico. Um, but, <laughs> but Fossa yeah, and Simba. Fossa and Simba, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, but, yeah, so uh, Jordan Matthews, 
he just he's got to he's got to find his mojo, and I hope he does. So hopefully it will be against a great defense like Carolina. Get that uh, confidence up. Yeah. To piggyback off that question at Yo Boy Swag one two nine nine ask Will Jordan Matthews score a TD against Carolina? Um, I'm hoping so. I think it's possible. I think uh, you got to take advantage of um, their secondary because that front seven, like our front seven, is their strongest point probably on the whole team. Yeah. Um, I think both teams are matched up pretty well. Uh, they have strong run games, both teams, and uh, they have really strong front sevens. Josh Norman, though, is playing very well. He's one of their cornerbacks. Um, he's playing phenomenal right now. And um, I, th- I think that, uh, well, Jordan's normally lined up in the slot, so if we can get some matchup uh, yeah. mat- uh, mismatches, and, uh, and get him freed up, I think that would uh, work in our favor, and you could see him in the end zone. Yeah, definitely. Um, at Aiden Joe 29 asks, can our defense have another big game? They can. I mean... <laughs> they can every week. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, this defense is, is one of the best in the league, and like I just said, um, they, they, are, they are a very strong run team, but that's our strength is stopping the run. Uh, I think Nolan Carroll's played phenomenal downfield defense. Mm-hmm. Byron Maxwell, you know, he's got the tough task of guarding top receivers week yeah. in, week out. But this, this week, you know, they don't really have a go-to receiver other than, you know, Greg Olson. Um, and it'll be nice to get linebackers uh, Michael Kendricks and Kiko Alonso back in the mix. I don't think Kiko's going to play. Kendricks has a chance. Mm-hmm. But our linebackers have been playing really well, guarding yeah, and absolutely. stopping the run. So. Uh, it will it will be um, it will be on the corners to you know stop those outside receivers and they don't really have a go to uh, guy yeah. and stopping that run so Greg Olson's got to get you know you know he won't be shut down he's just too yeah. good for that but if you can shut everyone else down yeah keep uh, him in check and team cam I think exactly yep. yeah you got it got to roll so uh, at Guillermo Valencia do you think like the Eagles guy. will dominate the Panthers like last year I like his optimism too yeah, yeah. The question that, that's a that's a tough one I mean. Like Chip said, you know, he he said they're executing right now, and that's that's really true. They have the same team. Yeah, they do the same. Kelvin really Benjamin. Same, same yeah. team. I know they're just playing good football. Um, funny thing about the Panthers though, and I'm not knocking them. I do think they're a really good team. They grind. They play hard, but they haven't played a team over 500, and that includes this week. We're at 500. Um, I mean, I know Seahawks is a huge win, but that that team's dismantled right now. I mean, yeah. they are just in shambles. Um, they their secondaries pointing fingers. Um, you know, yeah. they they're kind of off the off the same page. They lost Byron Maxwell. Cam Chancellor sat out all preseason in the first two weeks of the season, so he's yeah. not really in sync with the cornerbacks and um, that and you know Bobby Wagner being out really helped them yeah. get that run game going. So at the end of the day, like I always say, at the end of the day. You and it will be the end of the day. You know. Sunday night game. So yeah, yeah, exactly. that, that, it actually, that it really worked work. that time. I mean, it usually does it, but it really worked that, that time. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, at J Nooney underscore AKA PC22, will Bradford pull his head out of his ass? No one. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, I mean, you know, he's never really had injury problems before. Uh, Yes, he has. Yes, he has had injury problems before, but he has never had interception problems before. He's really a quarterback that takes care of the ball, and even on a bad Rams team, he was able to keep keep the ball yeah. safe. Um, but you know, you're seeing you're seeing him missing throws short, and I think it's just the confidence and getting back in that game form. But I mean, eventually that excuse. Uh, I don't think it's an excuse, really. I think it's reality, but uh, eventually that is going to not be reality anymore because he's going to play a whole season, or I mean, hopefully, mm-hmm. staying healthy. Um, and he's go- he's going to keep playing games, and he's going to you know that rust is shaking off each yeah. week, and um, you know he's going to have to start playing better. And uh, you know if we can win games while he's going through those growing pains and struggling, I think yeah. that's a huge plus. But you know I- I'm hoping he can he can get his head out of his rear end and, yeah. uh, and have one of those real confidence building uh, yeah. games, especially against an undefeated team on the road. Yeah, I think the offense really looking like feeling like they have something to prove after the defense was all the talk yeah. after that Giants win. Yeah, all season, too. So, to go off of that question, um, Zay asks, will Chip adjust and make the offense a little different so that the, that way you can get Bradford into a groove because we can't really rely on the defense every week to hold a team to seven? So, what do you think? You run some more screens, maybe? Yeah, you know? um, I think I think you, you really have to um, just... It's just about protecting the ball. You know, yeah. it, 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 you, you got the plays there to make. Um, yeah. uh, no matter what the play calls are, like we say, you know, you got to just execute yeah. the plays. Absolutely. You know, block for the guy, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, he hasn't really been 
roughed up too much. He took a couple big hits yeah. in the games uh, the last two weeks, but overall we've protected him pretty well, and he's just got to start making better throws, mm -hmm. um, securing the ball. Jordan Matthews can't be fumbling like that. He doesn't yeah. have those problems. He's a was last year as a rookie a very sure-handed player, yeah. and it just seems like things are just kind of overwhelming. Pressure. I think he's feeling yeah, the pressure. Yeah, yeah. and they mm -hmm. just need to chill out, and they need to start making the plays that are there to be made, and when they are there to be made, just execute it and make that play and, and I think they'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Um at Tim Wackass is the last question. Is DeMarco Murray going to score more than one touchdown next game coming off his best game last Monday? It's a good question. Um I, I'd like him to, uh <laughs> but that Carolina front is superb. They are very, very good. Uh like I said before, Keekley and Thomas Davis are absolute studs and they're gonna be looking to shut that thing down and Hopefully, uh, hopefully our run game is is uh, you know all three guys are running the ball well, and yeah. I think if if we can get the W, I don't think Demarco really cares what he what he personally does. I just yeah. think he's he's all in for this for this team. Yeah, I think I think he gets touchdown. I think Sproles is gonna get another one. Nice. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. I right like Sproles. I'd like to see Sproles on special teams do something big, yeah. big, big return. Um, you know we're gonna need all three phases to be playing very well to beat this team on the road. I will be there in the yeah, building. Yeah, you're going to be there. Um, hopefully, we uh, get the W. Yeah, I, mean, I think you know, I think, I think they can do it. I think they can do it. Um, I guess, I mean, I guess we got to say what, what our predictions are going to be, yeah. right? Yeah, we got to. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the Eagles in a, uh, in a grinder. I'm going to take the Eagles in a grinder. I'm going to take them 23 to 21. Okay. An absolute... Heart throbber, and they somehow, some way, pull it out at the end. They get it done, and they put they go into the bye feeling good, three straight wins, getting to four and three, and they give Carolina that first loss of the season. Yeah, I'm opt I'm optimistic. We're just, we're just optimistic guys. I can't. It's hard for me it's to go against them. Against and I think and they're playing I just think right Carolina's due for a loss. Right, right like so. you said, that stat you dropped that they're they haven't played anyone above five hundred. They haven't yet. played a defense like this. And yeah, it's crazy because they just like played this. Seattle. Yeah. So who would have thought? You know, yeah, they haven't played defense like this. You're five and zero. Oh, you know, statistics, odds, what physics, whatever mm -hmm. says. You know, you're. You're due for a loss. You're yeah. due the, in the universe of grand scheme of yeah. how things work, holy power, football guys, whatever, they're due for a loss. And I, I just don't, I just can't see them playing at this optimal level week in and week yeah, out. Yeah, especially without a, a, a top receiver on the yeah. I mean, they're kind of like us. We don't really have a top receiver either. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a grinder. It's going to be a, a really, really hard nose. Like, you're going to find out how tough both these teams really are. And I think both of them are really tough. And, um... Uh, I mean, the good news is though, even if we lose, it's like we we yeah. made our ground up. And yeah, we're in a good spot. The division, the division is bad, and yeah, we, we have um, we have a couple games in hand with the division. We got our first divisional win. Yeah. So we're in a, we're in a good spot. We're not going to have the prettiest record, especially if we lose. But if we win and we go into this bye week four and three, feeling good, yeah. getting Kiko healthy, getting Kendricks back healthy, yeah. um, getting Nelson Aguilar back healthy, yeah. getting him. You know, he can just take a breath. He can, you know, yeah. the whole for your first your first half of your season, your rookie season is going so fast. You, everything's just happening. And yeah. He can step back, take a breath. Same with Sam Bradford. Mm -hmm. I think if we can get this win, it will be huge for yeah. this team. But even, even if they think the bye week's coming at a very perfect op, time, op, very good time, very good time. Perfect. The word I was looking for was opportune there. Yeah, opportune, opportune time. Opportune time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got Eagles twenty seventeen. Very close. So. Thanks for joining us, guys. Chip Shatter. He's going to be at the game. He's going to be sending. We're going to try and hook up some sort of thing where you can yeah, see Bank of America Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, me and my dad are going to an Eagles bar all yeah. Sunday. So oh, uh, we're gonna, he found one, he said, and we're going to uh, watch all the games there. Um, and then we're going to head over to the stadium uh, right. around game time. So it's going to be a good day, good weekend yeah. with the Papa. And yeah. uh, and hopefully we can get good. that W. And I'll be... Uh, Broadcast from the show. We're gonna get you down. We're gonna get you. We're gonna set something up. You know, I'll have the little talking ad up top, okay. and we'll see what we can do. We'll but, see uh, what we can do. I'll be stuck in this room. All right. <laughs> but uh, thanks for joining us, guys, and we will see you Sunday.